Hello, welcome to embedded.com. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a website for your blog using C++ code. I'm going to use clean blog from Bootstrap. So first, we need to create a common page, which is the header and footer for all the pages. For home page, about sample post and contact now let's copy all the necessary files for this template for this website so we're going to copy the css and image to the root path of, the web of your website Now, under common, we need to copy the header and footer. Then, we need to insert this base URL and this area will display all the styles you mention on your template the content and then the script if you mention any script on the template next we'll create the home page folder default and then the template let's edit this default and we'll create C++ code here And then uh, let's take this list of blogs on your template. So go to htm and create a file. And copy the HTML save refresh the page okay let's create um about page And then create default .csv. Okay. Then create htm, which is the template. And then put the HTML save okay now create sample post 
So we'll create folder post. And then the port of USB. Save. Then create your template. Check the page again for post and then contact. Save. We can create template. Then save. Okay, so we have home page about sample post and contact. Now let's start um, pulling all your blogs from the database. So we need to modify the template for this. Edit this default.cpphtml Then we'll insert this span to um, list all the blogs using JavaScript So this one, starting from here, we don't need it So let's delete this and we'll add HTML template and we'll add also the JavaScript include. Save. And in your home folder, we'll click JS folder. And then we'll create default that JS. Okay, then save. And then on your default.csp, we'll create a service there called get. So edit default CSP. And then we'll modify this code. We'll add this condition then we'll create get fol get folder uh, get function save okay now let's re refresh the page.
Okay. So these are the list of your blogs. Now, if you click this one, it will be redirected to post view and then the blog. So, we'll create page for this. Then, on your post view, on your post folder, we'll create HTML there to handle this content. So, go to the post folder folder then create edit okay so here we're now going to display the title Created by the content, and here you can specify your style. If there is JavaScript, you can use JavaScript, something like this one. Just like we did in home page. Okay. Now let's modify the default that CSP under post folder. Now let's insert code here. We will change this to default. Default page. Then we will create. Okay, let's go to home page. Okay, now I'm going to show you the administration side. All you need to do is create administrator here. Administration. The same implementation you need to use common folder and other necessary files for the back end. Now let's check the back end or the administration side. Next 
next video I'm going to show you how to use this um, uh, grid listing so I'm using Kendo here and I will be creating uh, videos or tutorial how to use um, Kendo um, UI interface one of this Kendo that I'm using is grid they call it grid so um, I will give you some uh, quick views the can do grid okay so <coughs> here we need the initialization they call it data source and you have to make sure on your service topic is the folder and inside inside topic there is some um, default that csp that implements get get is the service Okay, get and is the get so here it will just uh, get all the uh, blogs from your repository and get the query and this will create a JSON format I will show you so when you click active so when you click active this will return uh, blogs from from your service so I will open fiddler here Click active. You are passing all these parameter is archive is equals to false and it returns a JSON format. So calling this one will will call this function get and this one will create a JSON format if you try to call like this for example copying this one this will not work copy the URL and paste it here will simply create a file for get because you're just simply calling the page content type um, um, HTML text but if it is called directly from JavaScript you need to pass this content type Actually, this is a uh, Type. okay thank you for stopping by and bye for now